In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to do to get the best FPS and more importantly, the lowest latency for the best gameplay experiences in Marvel Rivals. Since the game runs on Unreal Engine 5, there are a lot of settings that you can disable within the game. That's why performance is lower than expected for many people. But don't worry, we can still optimize it for great latency and smoother feels. Starting at step one, Windows settings. Before even launching the game, let's go over a few basic Windows settings to make sure your system is ready for performance. First, click the Windows button and search game mode. Be sure to turn this on. Go to the graphics section and click change default graphics settings. Here, set your default high performance GPU to your dedicated graphics card and make sure that hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, if available, is turned on. Next up, enable optimizations for windowed games at the bottom. Marvel Rivals runs in Direct X 12 and not in exclusive full screen mode. So this option helps you get more latency close to the full screen performance. And for y'all that aren't really into games like that, basically full screen just makes it so it's the best. I'd honestly just stick to full screen, but if you're like me and don't like full screen mode, do this. Lastly, you can also set the variable refresh rate, but this one is an optional one. If you have a monitor that supports AMD FreeSync or the NVIDIA version, which is G-Sync, VRR, aka variable refresh rate, can be very helpful, especially on lower FPS. Look into enabling this, not just for Marvel Rivals, but every game you can possibly play. If you want more details on how to set up VRR, you might need to Google that one. Step two, close background apps. Go to your taskbar, open the task icon, tray and close out of any programs you don't need while gaming. These can take up resources unnecessarily. One of the biggest ops is Google Chrome. You have no idea how much this thing actually takes away. Close those tabs and see how it performs. Step three is actually launching Marvel Rivals and going into the practice range and testing out if there is a performance change. Some of these can be very minor, so it might be hard to tell, but you should be getting a few more frames. Step four is showing your FPS so you can actually see it. If it's not already visible, press escape, go to the settings, then display and enable show FPS. Another option Optional thing you could do is enable NVIDIA Frame View Overlay. This will help you monitor performance and latency. Simply just search up NVIDIA Frame View Download on Google. Then hit the download button and open it up. Choose where you want the overlay to be and it should work every time the game is started up. Another option is also editing the in-game graphics settings. Press escape, go to settings, then display and scroll down to graphics. Here's what I recommend. Global illumination set to SSGI low quality. You don't want lumen or any ray tracing on. It will hurt your FPS. Go down to reflection quality and set that to screen space reflections. Then find your way to model detail. And this kind of depends on your VRAM. Most people should go with medium, but if your system struggles, stick with low. Post-processing should also be set to low alongside shadow detail set to low and texture detail set to, I usually keep it at medium. Effects detail set to low and foilage quality set to low as well. Apply those settings and you'll get a message saying the changes require you to rejoin the game and that's okay. Click leave game and re-enter the practice range and confirm the change. Finally, the test results. Even with those graphic tweaks, my FPS is looking a lot better and my latency dropped about 38 milliseconds. Subscribe if this helped.